What is going on guys, you're back with another video on our 49ers franchise and it is season 3. Of course we had a rough loss to the Texans in the Super Bowl and at the end of season 2. New things are a few new players for the draft, a few new players from free agency, kind of new. You know, special name came back to us. Of course, you see on the top of the screen, uh, the Black Knights, the Chargers desperately trying to find a fan base. They're just going to go with something so bland as to say the Black Knights. Uh, I, I don't know. I Okay. <laughs> cool, man. But I did make a mistake, and that mistake is that I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. So I made a trade, and that's, that's all I can really tell you. We, of course, edited some players. So we got some new looks, moving players around. We're making moves, all right, boys? Making moves. We traded... Uh, Mostert and Nicholson to the Dolphins for a third round pick. What else do we have? Oh, here's the big one. Marquise Goodwin and Ricky Seals-Jones with Dre Greenlaw for Josh Jackson. I tried to get Darnell Savage. They weren't having it. So I got Josh Jackson instead. And uh, I wanted to see that contract. Oh, it's a good contract. Zaria Smith couldn't do it. Too expensive. Even if I wanted to, it's too expensive, too old was looking for somebody to replace D Ford, kind of, because he's a little expensive himself. But, yeah, not going to happen. Here's Josh Jackson, though. 90 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility. But the big thing for him is that zone coverage. 88 zone, 77 catching. What is this, jumping? 93. So he's pure, you know, safety-wise, much better than Colbert. He is slower, but Colbert has the backup for, you know, another three years, potentially. Really solid backup. So this is... A roster that's looking very good. Of course, you've seen the flash there. Let's show you the roster going into the preseason. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do for preseason just yet, but we do have Kiki QC as the new number two wide receiver, Petrowski as the number three playing the slot, Mac, uh, my, my, okay, Mark Fox, the left guard. Uh, you know, not as good as Joe Staley, but has potential. We did take a little sneak pit. We, you know, we took a little gander. Superstar development. And this is the defense. Uh, Eckel, don't know his development. Sherman, we know his development. X-Factor, of course. And just a really good team in general. Pierce, please, please, Pierce, play longer than a few snaps this season. Please. Uh, and then, of course, the new safety. So we have some depth at safety now. Chavez, the, the rookie. Colbert, of course, going to be playing around the field quite a bit. It's a really good-looking team. And that's about that. Every like we get is going to be a, a win on the season. That's my cringe way of saying please like and subscribe. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so desperate. Matt Breida, uh, let's take a look. So he's got the juke move. His ability is right now juke box. Is there another ability? Like, should we start going for power move? Try to get him uh, arm bar. That would be so overpowered. Uh, I don't know what to do. Strength. So his elusiveness could get a little bit better. What's his catching actually? Catching is in the 60s. Uh, I'm going to go with one receiving back. Damn it, he didn't go up in overall. I feel like we just wasted oh, two catching. Wow, that was a really bad. Uh, never doing that again. I will never do that again. I promise. Uh, defensively, Fred Warner has an upgrade. Uh, I don't know, actually, because we use him a little bit. His coverage is already good. We should get that block shed up so we can defeat the run. Another guy that doesn't go up in overall. Okay, thank you, game. Uh, two block shed, one man. Not a bad upgrade, though. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play a few. Just a few snaps in some of the preseason games, and then we're going to play the regular season, I think. Man coverage, tackle, zone, one zone coverage. Not a bad upgrade. We're going to see. You know what we're going to do? We're going to sim the first one. First game. Doesn't matter too much. Let's take a look at what the Rams versus us did. We lost by four. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo didn't really play too much. Tannehill threw a pick. Not a huge fan of that. Derrick Henry, meh. Not really good numbers from the backups. Obviously, we're a very strong number one team. But still, I'd like to see more of that. Rookie Eckel with a sack. Nice. Pick for Roby Coleman. And their kicker missed. Is Robbie really going to be the starter? I want Will Lutz as the starter. Robbie's just there to to teach him? I don't know. Mark Fox these past few weeks. What do we want to get on this guy? Run block. Well, I mean, let's go pass. Actually, no, his run block was terrible, wasn't it? Um, Power? I feel like power moves are very common, right? 
Three pass block power, I'll take it. You know, we're just going to play the last preseason game. We're going to play a good bunch of that. What is this? How does that make any sort of sense? Coach, I'm not sure why you kept Samuel Walls out of the game, I have, but if this kid's going to play a key role on this team, I think he needs to play more. He's the third string quarterback. Yeah, I'm not, what? Work with O-line instead, challenge defense and prep. Let's work with the O-line instead. One overall for our offensive line. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Is he back with Mark Fox again? Okay, so he gets more awareness. Mark is, is starting to learn the ropes a little bit. We'll take a look at that last stat line. And that's about that. So we do not get a, a story. I was starting to like these stories. Come on, yeah, you can't give me a little taste and then put it in your bag. If you're going to give me the powdered snow, you got to let me go. <laughs> that's uh, the sound of uh, a helicopter starting up, of course. So Petrowski with a 48-yard and a touchdown performance. I'll take that. Bosa, not bad. Echol, man. My little Echol. My little Eckler himself. Let's take a look at this now. Don't know what this now means. Jimmy Garoppolo and company. Jimmy Garoppolo is like 29 now, by the way, so... Yikes! That's not very fun. Defensively! Eckle with another sack! Holy crap, this guy's on fire. Robbie, could you not? Well, Robbie proved to me that it's Will Lutz season. It's a little unfortunate that we don't get to play at their stadium, but... I suppose that's just the way it is sometimes. Uh, I wonder... <clears throat> if we play them in the regular season, you see that every once in a while. We don't need to see the intros. We'll, we'll save that for the actual game we're going to play in a moment. All right, defense. What is Josh Jackson wearing? I think he's wearing number 21, if I'm not mistaken. And there goes Warner off the edge. We have some very good talent now. You know, we kind of disappoint ourselves a little bit in the Super Bowl, but it's a very talented team. We have X-Factors all across the board here. It's an X-Factor for everyone. Pierce, just don't get hurt. Like, you're so good. White, are you for real? Kevin White just had a chance at a pick, and he just sat there. I think we're going to be blitzing a lot more this season as well. Oh, there goes White. That's an easy pick. That's too easy. Who's their quarterback? Is it even Phillip anymore? It's probably some nobody. You know he's going to celebrate on him. You know he's going to celebrate. They have their starting receivers, but I don't know who the hell their quarterback is. Now I'm intrigued. Mitchell Trubisky. How... Didn't I know? Because that would be very hard for me to know these things. That's clearly why. It was freaking Hunter Henry. I almost called him Derrick Henry. All right, fellas. This team is sick as it gets. Show them why we're sick. Inside. Oh, God. That's bad by us. Good to see us uh, struggling against Trubisky in preseason. Definitely not going to be a... A bad week one at all. There goes Buckner. Uh, you know, last season, first two seasons, but it was time to move on. I think we had to pay him. Unless we already did pay him. Oh, my Lord. And we just miss. This is the slowest man in the world right now. Like, Melvin's not slow, but he looks slow. I think they ran him out quite a bit. Defense is in some trouble. Good old Petrowski. I'm an Al Petrowski. Get it? What? Is Petrowski, like, okay? What is he doing? That's the wrong way. Look at him. I didn't throw it yet. And he's like, oh, wrong way. Thank God this isn't week one. Holy crap. It's clear that they didn't get their jitters out in the first few games in preseason. Oh, my Lord. We're giving up, like, 11 yards a carry. 14, 13. Math is hard. I'm not even going to try. All right, company. Oh, we missed the hit stick. Melvin's going to go backwards after gaining 10. I just hope Sherman's up for the task because he was starting to get burned for us. And, you know, we ended up trading him. The Eagles may have saw the same thing, and that's our fault. All right, Brady, you need 28 yards on third down. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Holy crap. I was, I didn't think there was a chance, but apparently there is. What is wrong with you if you don't try it? There it goes Kittle for the first down. I want this drive to end in some points. Vernon Davis, still young as they get. Not true. Oh, my God. And there's a face. This guy is unstoppable. And he's wide open, and it's missed by a mile. A high point guarantees that nobody picks the ball off. Petrowski on the inside, and he's going to fall in. He does not look 5'10". 
Tell me he doesn't look bigger than 5'10", but of course that's the extent of the game we're willing to play. <gasps> Wait, it's not Vernon Davis. Who is that? It's Janu. Oh, lads, this is a crime. Oh, that's bad for them. Good job, Jones. We changed him from number 80. I remember to. It's not even Vern. It's Janu Smith. I feel like we've just, like, disturbed a corpse. Wow, that guy's really good. Who is that? Number 36 is probably going to have a job for them. <laughs> a field goal for overtime. And they win by three. Good game, though. Take a quick glance at the stats. Uh, Easton Stick. Really good game. Tannehill, though, really solid game. So Trubisky and Garoppolo both through picks. Uh, not a great game for the ground outside of Brita. Brita's going to have to be the man because, I don't know, we're just... Offense just doesn't look good. Pass blocking is terrible. I don't know what to tell you. You really don't. We get the home opener, and it's against the Minnesota Vikings. We do have some re-signings. We won't worry about that right now at this moment, though. We got some upgrades as well we're going to have to deal with. Kiki QT with... Ooh, hello. Ooh, could be a speed. It's not medium route, though. I like that. We're going to go with power move, though. I think we're going to try to develop him as a pass rushing interior guy that's a really good upgrade here he has half of his snaps needed just in preseason i like no i did utility that's stupid oh that's so bad i don't think it really matters too much so we're gonna go with deep threat because i want to get his speed up and usually that's the one that gives you the speed upgrades the most not bad is that where we're gonna wait but i guess not oh josh jackson hello josh jackson is now on the team till he's 30 years old nice dante pettis he'll get a five-year deal mclinchy will get a four-year deal Fred Warner, we'll pay him that money. Kiki Gatti, we'll pay him that money. Trey Flowers, probably. And I don't know about everyone else. But I think we have enough money for it. Zone for Josh. Jack I probably should have won with run support. And we got three tackles, so. Didn't go run support, but we got a couple of run support upgrades. Vikings versus the Niners, a nighttime game. Oh, you can't ask for anything better. Except for a win, which honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to provide. I really don't. And... I decided to play a little special game tonight called Color Rush Matchup. That's not what it's called, but we're going to go for a Color Rush game. There's that man, Dalvin Cook. Of course, we have a really good running back, too, in Matthew Breida. Potentially the most dangerous running back in the entire league, assuming he's healthy, assuming he's not fumbling the ball. And those are two things I'm willing to assume. However, going against a very good defense. I know it's been a couple of years, and the years have been hitting them hard, but... It's still a defense I do not expect to succeed against. So we need to be on our best behavior when passing the ball, and we need to avoid as many hits as we can with Matt Breida coming off of a pretty couple, you know, series of injuries. I, I'm not, not really looking forward to losing him for the majority of the season here, so definitely got to be careful. I hear an owl outside if anyone's interested. And good old hover hand. Nice. Patriots start the season off. 1-0. We start the season off on defense. Now, this was a potential problem I was thinking of. But the colors are just different enough, I think. And we miss hard. Is it still good old Kirk Cousins? It does not appear to be, actually. It's somebody else. Ronald Aldridge. 76 overall with 87 throw power, 88 medium. That'd be really high medium to start out as a rookie, but he could be. I don't know. Well, here's a good early season test for the defense. You got some really good receivers out there. Are they both X-Factor? No. Diggs is superstar, though. And they looked like they were going to bust free, but, you know, we kept pushing, kept pushing, and got lucky, honestly, for being totally uh, transparent. Their quarterback, of course, has played for a year, so that's interesting uh, knowledge to know. They don't have uh, Kyle Rudolph anymore, but they have Irv Smith, which... Might be even worse to have to deal with because he's at least pretty athletic at this point. Over the middle, maybe not. Fred Warner catches a pick. Fred, run. Get the hell out of the way, White. He's like, nah, I got the preseason first pick. Six, I'm getting the first pick six here. And Fred Warner's in the zone. We need to capitalize ASAP. Breed to the left side. Breed is going to pick up some blocks. One to beat. Breed beats that one. Beats another. And he's in for the score on... I don't know how you stop this. Jukebox is too good. Matt Breida was already too good without Jukebox. Now he's potentially unstoppable. Look at him go. The first run of the season. Look at him break open the season with a bang. 
Going to play a little bit more man coverage this season, I think. And Buckner is going to do what he does on third and four to force the punt. Petrowski might not have a chance, but he is going to be the return man for the season until uh, he potentially breaks open into his slot receiver role. If he proves himself to be as dangerous as I think he can be, will uh, limit the risk on returns. But, of course, limiting the risk a ton when you don't get the ball at all. They're going to be scared of uh, Matt Breda. They got the linebackers all facing down. Going to go with the play action. Kiki QT calls for the ball, and Jimmy Garoppolo might be calling for a early retirement press conference. What the hell? Who? What in the world was that alien? Is that actually what he looks? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He looks like Howard the Alien. What in the world are you doing? Look at him. That's him on the left side now. The thickness has been enabled. What actually did I just see? Petrowski with the first reception of the season for him and the offense. Okay, looking for a fancy little route here. Uh-oh. 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 And that was a, it was a risky one, but good last second, you know, just fling in there. Chance just didn't catch it. I never knew how old Wisnowski was either. Like, I knew how old he was, but I wasn't as sure as I am now. He's a dinosaur. He's 29 already. That's pretty old, and he's not great. All right, Fred. Make a play, man. Change the game. Damn it, we can't make a play. Sherman makes one, though, off the edge. Look at Echo looking pretty fierce. Looking like a man that wants to kill a fella. I usually don't condone murder, but in this situation, I may have to. I like a little bit of risk. And I really like it when Nick Bosa comes free and just tosses a guy aside. Nice. Troy Apke, my man, my other man. I've got so many men. I'm just sleeping around all the time. Pierce going deep. Might throw underneath. They will throw it underneath. Good job, everybody. They actually lost yards on a check down. How is that even possible? We played the deep ball. Breed to the left side away from all of their super talented playmakers. I had to go inside. Get out of the way, everyone. Look at him go. Oh, my God. He's so good. I actually thought for a second we were going to filter our way through for the score. Play action. Look. Kittle is open. We're going to float it up to him. Nice acceleration there, but Anthony Barr was in pursuit. The way they're getting gashed in the ground game, I feel like they actually want us to throw, but they just can't trust if we're going to or not. And there goes Pettis for the first down. I had Kittle underneath. Finally a little bit of uh, time to throw. QT looks pretty open to me. We'll see. He's not thrown away. Oh, no. There's the sack. Pretty on the inside. We're going to go for the possession. All it takes is one sack and you're in trouble. John Ross is going to be in on the screen. See what he can do. He's a fast man. He's a very fast man. He's going to score. Look at him go. John Ross with a receiving touchdown. Nice. Sherman. Closed down on the inside. Dalvin bouncing around. Not going to get much, though. Only three. How the hell does Fred still have his thingy, by the way? Locked up. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And sacked by Buckner. Playing a little risky game here. To the outside, not risky enough. As, uh, they got scared. Saw Fred coming off the edge, and we stop him. Coverage is doing really well. Can't lie. Go with Brita underneath. Brita's too quick. Look at him. I mean, how do you stop him? Other than Anthony Barr murdering him, there's no way to. Let's go with the stretch. Oh my god, Derek Henry died. I thought that was Brita. I thought we were going to fall down because we ran through a guy. Ooh, we might have the toss here. They look like they're playing a little conservatively on this. Oh, no, they're not. Nobody blocked Everson. How is that possible? Third and 12 should have been a huge gain. They just bust free. Like, no questions asked. Pettis, that foot. He gets it down, I think. And apparently he did. Play action look, and I just throw that. It's going to be the first pick of the season. Oh, no. Wow, Petrowski gets a hand on it. Nice. Here is the draft class. Not a bad one at all. Obviously, it got worse as time went on, but that's kind of how math works, isn't it? 
Curl route. I hate curl routes. They're so bad. You can never throw them. But you can throw a curl route in Madden the way you're supposed to throw a curl route. Like you actually have to wait for them to stop, which is just so stupid. Off the slant, Kiki QT takes a hit, but he gets the first down. We're throwing a couple of dangerous ones. Luckily, they haven't been going for the picks. Pet is looking off that left side. So elite, man. His route running so good. I actually probably should have activated, um, what's his name? Jimmy Garoppolo. Because in fairness, Kittle is not going to get a chance at his ability often. Come on. I know it's hard. It's off the back foot and you're fading, but it's also a throw you need to make as an NFL star. Might throw this right down the middle to Kittle. Probably should have. And overthrown by a mile. Jimmy Garoppolo has been terrible, and this could score. Brandon Brooks is a fast fella. I mean, I'm getting gutsy, but that's a good throw. That's, I mean, it's not a good throw. He overthrew it, but this is a good decision. Look at this. He's there. Oh, come on. He's there. That's a freaking touchdown. Assuming he catches, obviously. He's been dropping it a little bit, but... And he's got him deep. Pierce with the closing speed, though, to, to at least stop it from scoring, but really good route deep there. Oh, come on, Pierce. I know he's not an easy man to bring down, but I need a, I need a pop there. Ooh, really good play by Sherman. Blew that up, dropped the ball. Been missing a couple of throws here. We went instinctful, and Josh Jackson was there all the way. Looked like he lost him a few times, got blocked, never gave up, and finally found him. To the right side. Oh, good play. Anthony Barr is the only thing close to being kryptonite for Mr. Matt Breida. Even he himself would probably agree that's not true. And he just destroyed Brandon Brooks, though. Holy crap. All right, guys, I'm going to need to see some uh, identification. Go underneath to QT. And holy crap, these hit sticks are starting to pile up a little. Should have taken it. To the outside, though, we get QT dropping the ball. Damn. The ball was left a little high in there, can't lie. To the outside. Pettis, perfect throw. Two-minute warning, obviously plenty of time. If anything, trying to waste a little bit more of it before we score. And there's just nobody going to stop him off the edge. Daniel Hunter killing it. Back to the play that got us picked off in the first place. They haven't been making it easy on us. And he slows down, but he still gets it. Doesn't catch it, though. They're going to review this, though. I think they should. I mean, he spun around, but I think he might have gotten it. Uh, the tip of the right foot looks down to me. And they will say that he caught it. Good call by the ref. Nice. Double move on the inside. Risky throw. Perfect one, though. Down to the one. Down to the two, actually. You see Derrick Henry, and you don't think it's a run. You don't think it's a run, but it is. Touchdown, Derrick Henry. Of course, they do not have enough time before half, so we are leading 21-6. to six. Very interesting. Petrowski probably not going to get the blocks. Slips away, but nothing too spectacular. Got to love that, uh, you know, drive redemption. Jimmy Garoppolo drove us down nicely. He gets tossed. They are not a fan of uh, Brita. And let's be honest, would you be? Petrowski down the middle. Inside. I don't know how you stop Pettis. Other than hurting him. <laughs> that's, that's the only way, really. Of course, you can guess his route, but if you don't, you're probably getting burned. Over the middle, QT. This team has so much speed. Down the sideline, getting a beautiful block from Pettis. Oh, look at him. Just kind of trucked him there. Are we going to be looking for that throw? I mean, they're, they're, tr they're respecting the speed. They're respecting the speed. I'm going to get what I can get. Good play. I mean, just anything we want. Petrowski? Maybe not. Kittle? Full head of steam? Kittle? Down to the three. I know you might have probably been thinking, hey, really? He's going to start talking about it that early? Yeah, that early indeed. Kittle back of the end zone could be the move. Damn it, really good play by Anthony Barr. That's an easy guy to beat. I saw them uh, kind of 
attack the ball a little bit, so I was like, you know what? I think it's time. Back of the end zone, and a perfect dime by Jimmy to the rookie Petrowski for the first touchdown of his career. Now, as much as I, you know, said that, oh, even though they're old, they're still decent, they have taken a bit of a step back in fairness. Really good job. They have a bottom five offensive line, a 76 overall young quarterback, and their defense is on its last legs as they're all about to pretty much retire. We're pressing. We'll come with the house. And there goes Diggs. Perfect sit down. But they're not going to get the first down. It's going to be uh, third and one. Of course, all hands on deck. We we trust the coverage. It's going to cost us one of these times. But hopefully that's not the time right now. Good play call. It was a good play call. I didn't think he was going to beat off the press that hard, though. Don't get me wrong. He's a did he just kick the ball? That's pretty sick if he did. He might have. I don't I don't know. I kind of looked away. No, he just didn't even engage him. Oh, he got beat at the line. He thought he was going to run. Yeah, look, holy crap, Kevin. Come on. They're going to go for the two-point, and we're going to crunch him down in there with Quan Alexander. So it's going to be a 16-point game. That was a really good play, and honestly, we shouldn't be doing that, but at the end of the day, I think if we stuff him there, we for... Oof, crap. I think we force them to punt the ball away and potentially just coast. Break this free. Damn, Jesus. Did you see the effort? Harrison Smith, man. Broke through two players and then dove and barely missed. Play action look. Somebody get open. Good job coming back to the ball. QT to the 38. Jimmy, after that pick, has been reborn, man. He's just not missing throws. Oh, my God. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, it does matter, but... Jesus, both of those guys are really showing their, their craft. How do you get away from these if you're Brita? And, ooh, that was a little... I can't believe you had that acceleration. I didn't think Eric Arms, or, or, uh, 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 Eric Kendricks had that in him. Or Petrowski, you're my guy. No, you're not. Kittle's going to have to be my guy. Come on, Kittle. Damn, he had a lot of people there. But here comes Will Lutz coming out on the field to try his first actual field goal. 50 yards. Wind is a little off the, the right there. Not going to play it too hard to that left side, but just enough. And it's a perfect kick, which probably puts in a spot where they can't win. I mean, hey, play your offense, do what you want, but it might be a little late. Might be a little late to run the ball. And they agree. And we got, we were going to get there last second. And Nick Bosa with his second. Oh, kind of like what uh, Melvin Ingram did to us in the preseason. That would have been a sick bait by Pierce, though. No pressure. He's still going to throw it away, though. He's getting a little scared there. Nick Bosa and company freaking him out. I don't know where we're coming at you with. Oh, we almost got him. Pierce with a clutch tackle. It's going to be fourth and two. We're, we're trying to blitz the rookie, you know, force him into bad situations and He's done a pretty good job with the ball. Don't tell me they're actually going to... They're not going to fake it or go for it? Uh, well, they gave up. Especially after... What is... Turns out they did have a plan. They knew it was going to confuse us, and they caught us off with 12 men on the field. I can't tell if that was intended by them, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, face mask. Okay. Penalties are starting to get a little wild here, guys. Let's uh, Let's chill out a little bit. I mean, it's not like I'm afraid of them coming back and winning this, but, you know, no reason to give them any false hope. All right, Bucky, right down the middle. He wins. Oh, Dalvin's going to run in. Almost gets killed, though, for no reason. I would have avoided any contact with Buckner. Ooh, I say that, but this play looks good. This play looks really good. I had him. No. Oh, I still have... Jesus. QT actually burned him off the line, damn. Give yourself a chance one of those. Take a look, see what you got. Oh, there you go, blockers. Can't break it away. I will say, after the first, you know, big couple of runs, Brita is slowed down a little bit, like physically. Like, not even just, like, success-wise. I mean, just, like, literally seemed a little bit slower than he was earlier. Oh, there he goes. Maybe not. Oh, first one free doesn't beat everyone sometime. All right. That's what you're into, man. Kiki QT off the quick throw. 
They're kind of ready for it, but Kiki is pretty fast. Gains about two. Interesting. I'm just testing out new plays as well. Why not? Inside zone. Ooh, he did break it, too. He's going to break that first tackle. All right, this man scored a touchdown earlier in the game. Uh-oh. Got a little excited there. Early move there from the 41. This is a tough decision now. Fourth and three. Oh, 58 yarder? He could hit this. I believe in Willie. I believe in my Willie. Oh, just barely, but it's good. 15 point lead. You know, we're playing a little conservatively, but we're doing what we can to win, and I think it'll be enough on Buckner. Buckner. Oh, a little bit of a late hit, kind of eh, a little late, could have called us. I'll just put it this way. There's not much I could have said if it would have been called late. And picked off by Quan, who could score. Damn it. <laughs> Beat the two fast players, but the lineman actually cut off the edge. Halfback dive, let's get Brita over 100. Mr. Matthew Brita up the middle, get some blocks. Brita, I did not see that guy over to the right, but over 100 yards, nice. We've learned our lesson from the past. We are not going to risk him unless we absolutely need to. There you go. I would have rather had Pettis catch it, but good job. The focus. Henry on the inside, and he kind of gets engaged by the guy on the left side, which is weird. We're right up the middle again. Henry. Bounces off and gets slammed hard by Anthony Barr. Play action look. Jimmy Garoppolo still got them legs. Oh, Jesus. Petrowski corner. Could have his second. Same with Henry, though. Wow. I want that guy on our team. Who in the hell? How in the world do you ca- Perfect coverage pressed. Look at that. It could have been anything, and he covers it Dead perfectly. Oh my god, that guy's a god. That one wasn't his, though. Uh, his fault. Holton Hill, 89 speed, 76 overall. He's a big fella, so the press makes sense. But does the coverage make sense? 79 man. And he is a better man corner than zone, but yikes. All right, two minute warning, three timeouts left, down 15. I would be shocked if they actually scored before the game ends. To the outsides. Josh Jones misses. He does go out of bounds, though. Bourne is hurt. Of course, since he's out of bounds, he does not need to cost his team a timeout. Nowhere to go. And he's going to get taken. Wow. Sacked by Buckner through a blocker. Should have just dumped it off. Uh, we're in some trouble. And we miss hard. Whiff City. Unbelievable. God damn it. Why do I do it? Why do I do it? Welcome to Whiff City. How may I take your order? Jesus. QT gets it. First down wins the game. It's not close. It never was close. Derrick Henry just trucked a guy over to prove that it wasn't close. If Derrick Henry's doing things to put your mind at ease, I don't know what, what else you need. Shot. We do not. We do trust the step up. Nobody in sight, and that will be a champion-style slide. Literally no one there. Jimmy just walks it. Well, that's the score of the home opener. Week 1 matchup versus the Vikings, 34-26. to Petrowski and company. I'm not, I'm not super happy the way we play because we finished really poorly. Defense locked down pretty much the entire game. And we just had some really stupid plays on our own fault, unfortunately. But that's just the way the game goes sometimes. And it's still a victory. Still a lot of things to be happy with. You know, guys like Brita going against an amazing <clears throat> front. And front seven is one of the toughest ones we're going to face all season, if not the toughest. So to come away with over 100 yards for Brita, you know, a couple other guys had some success on the ground. Pretty impressive stuff. I really wish we could have limited those two picks. But, you know, bad throw and then... Just not a good decision. Getting really good coverage off the edge there. And that's going to be the result. Matt Breida killing it as usual. Derrick Henry, 7 for 28. John Ross didn't really get a chance running, but he did get a touchdown receiving, so impressive there. Petrowski, 4 for 26 with a touchdown. 
Kiki QT, 81 yards, no touchdowns. Pettis, I don't know how you cover him. I really don't. George Kittle, 4 for 71. Gotta, gotta get the ball to Pettis more, you know? Not easy to cover, but we don't always try to get him open, and we really should because it doesn't take much. Sack totals, they had a game, but so do we. DeForest, DeForest Buckner and Bosa combined for four sacks. Pick goes to Quan, and another one to Fred, the linebacking duo that everyone wants, but only we can have. And we start the season 1-0. Taylor Bennett wants to talk about us. You can't start the season better than 1-0. You guys are off to a fast start. Thanks, dude. Going against the Cardinals now. We had a, you know, we gave up a big run against the Cardinals in the past. They're 1-0. Uh, so you actually Rams start 0-1, though. That's a pretty big start for us. Player of the week, anyone? No one. Damn it. I was really hoping we'd had a player of the week. NFC North repping two of the player of the weeks. And I do believe we have some XP, so Nick Bosa we will use. Uh, he is very good in the finesse. We do need to stop the run, but I'm going to keep going finesse. We need to just clobber the QB. Come on. There you go. Finesse plus two. I like to see that. Jimmy Graham. That's not Jimmy Graham. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. Deep and medium. I think we're going to do whatever we can to get medium. So it would appear field general is the first for medium. So I'm going to go with that. Come on, medium. Okay, it's not medium, but that's pretty damn good, too. Throw power in a deep. I will take that any day of the week. Uh, pass coverage, not terrible. So with very bad block shed, it's block shed time. He gets plus two to block shed. Not great. He's really just the flyer at this point. That's why we struggle a little bit on the ground. But, yeah, that's going to conclude week one. We're now an 86 overall on, uh, you know, and 87 defense. Nice upgrades. Boza already off to an amazing start. Same with Buckner. So, see what these Cardinals can do. I suspect a bit of a slaughtering on Kyler Murray, but win or loss, I don't know, because we we seem to choke it versus them quite a bit. If you're new to the channel and you like franchise, maybe uh, subscribe. We do a lot of franchise rebuilds, experiments, whatever you wanna you wanna look for. We we'll probably got it. Maybe you like the video if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter at Trumpy Care. And maybe follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash care as well. I mean, might as well. Might as well go for the quad effect. I don't, I'm not even good. I don't know the word. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.